Okay, let's proceed with Kirchhoff's voltage law and Kirchhoff's current law. So some call this Kirchhoff. Kirchhoff. So it's up to you. So it's a name of a person, but I prefer to call this Kirchhoff's voltage law and Kirchhoff's current law. Okay, but before that, before we discuss KVL and KCL, let's, uh, let's discuss first loop and node. So first one is loop. So, definition of loop. So, if we have a closed path, then we have a loop. Okay. So, for an example, so for example, your first experiment, you have this circuit diagram. You have 5 volts and 100 ohms. They are connected. They are connected. Connected, connected. Okay. You have your ground. So, you have a closed path. Therefore, you have a loop okay we start here for example we started here then ends up here at the starting point then we have a loop so yes it's a loop for this one so v2 and v3 they are not connected on this part so okay it's not continuous therefore it is not a loop okay so that is a loop if it's a closed path it is a loop next one is node so for node it is called the connection between two or more elements okay okay the junction between two or more elements is called a node again for the first experiment you have this uh, circuit diagram you only have one voltage source. You have one resistor. Okay? So they are connected directly at this leg and this leg. This one, this one. So there is node 1. There is this second node, node 2. Okay? There are only two nodes. Okay? Even though this is drawn as rectangular. So we don't have any component or element here. We don't have any component or element here. Therefore, we only have two nodes, okay? Or if you want, you can imagine it like this one, okay? I call this my watermelon diagram, okay? You cannot find this in books, so I just imagine it like this one because in books, they are already in rectangular drawings or circuit diagrams. So if you want to imagine it, you can imagine it in this way. So, uh, first leg of V1 is connected to the uh, first leg of R1. Second leg is connect of V1 is connected to the second leg of R1. So, there are only two junctions. So, there are only two nodes. So, let's have more elements. So, for this one, we have V2, V3, R2, and R3. So here we have how many components? We have four elements or four components. Let's count the number of nodes. Same with me. Node 1, node 2, node 3, node 4. Four nodes. So here we have four nodes. Okay. Remember, again, the node is the junction in between the elements. So we have this element V2, element V3. They are being connected, so there is a node. V3 and R2 connected together, node 2. R2 and R3, they are different resistors. They are connected at a junction. We have a node. And then lastly is the uh, other leg of R3 connected to the other leg of V2. So it's as if that you just extended this wire, okay? Node 4, you can also call this node 4, so it's the same. Since we don't have any component in between, okay? So now you know what is a loop, what is a node. So let's proceed with our topic, KVL and KCL. 